Hi guys, I'm Anton Houghton H. It's that time again, we're off to another hospital appointment. This time it's the limb team, my first limb team appointment over in Nottingham City Hospital, which is about 45 minutes away. So we're just making our way out now and mum is driving and she's my chaperone for the day. And we're gonna, I think today's more about um, paperwork and getting it transferred over from Colchester to, to Nottingham. But we'll see what the what the day unfolds as it goes on, and we'll meet the whole, hopefully we'll meet the whole team. So I'm gonna get into or we'll get out now and get into the car and try and get and make our way over there. Right, got into the car. Thankfully, it's a lovely day out. I don't often venture outside. Um, I've been weak and not very well the last couple of weeks, so. I'm very thankful that the sun's out and it's shining. It's still bloody cold out, but it's it's bright. We've actually, I've been promoted to the front of the car. We had a bit of palaver the last few weeks getting into the back, laying across the back seat. And now we've put me in the front and it's a hell of a lot easier and it's not taking all my energy out of me. So the day has started off and had a good start. Let's just hope it stays that way. Right, that took about, what, about 40 minutes? that down the uh down some country lanes quite scenic and we've got we're just parking up now it looks like a massive hospital some of it looks brand new and other of it is quite old but um we're on a little annex on the side of the, the main hospital in the actual mobility center so we're just gonna mum's just about to get the the chair out now we are about 25 minutes early so we're gonna get our bearings and hopefully find out where we're going. So I'll see you on the inside. Right, we've been in and we're done. We've, we was in there for about an hour. Um, we met um, the doctor that's taken over. So there's no more going to the GP or to the hospital. If I have any problem with my leg, I now go back to the limb center. I've met um, my prosthesis, and my physio team and my limb nurse. Everyone has been absolutely lovely. Um, I've got booklets and booklets and pages and pages of information. Um, I have, I've been booked in for a casting of my limb, which will be in six weeks time. I have now got a snazzy sock on. They've stocking. now, not stocking. They've, um, they've now started to lightly shrink the limb. Um, it did feel baggy to begin with and I've had it on for about half an hour now and it's, it's starting to feel a little tight and I'm getting some pins and needles but she said that's very normal and if I can't take it to take it off let it breathe for half an hour and put it back on. So pretty much like a bandage if it's on too tight you take it off let it breathe put it back on but it feels a lot more secure now as before it was feeling very delicate and I was wrapping it up myself or my mum was wrapping it up for me um, to feel a little more secure. This has done the job. Um, but the information, I'm, I feel so much more at ease now having spoken to, to a team that knows what they're doing and they're putting in the direction and now I know what's going to happen. Um, I, they didn't actually say it, but they've sort of implied I should be up and walking in a year that will be with a limb unaided. That's what we're aiming for. Um, so, and that comes in the future. We'll get it all shrunk down first and get the uh, medication right. I've got to stay on the gabapentin, not to take myself off of it at all. I'm going back up to what I was on originally and we're gonna slowly taper off week by week the morphine, which then should get my weight back up. I was weighed and I've lost two stone in three weeks which is a bit of a problem but now I've just got to get eating and my strength back up I've been given um, stretches and exercises to do lower limb and my back because I'm getting such a bad back but that's because I'm sitting in a chair so keep moving is what they, they was what they said um, they've basically said the more you fit the younger you are the harder you fall and the further you've got to fall so the further you've got to pick yourself up which is what I'm feeling at the moment but it's just nice to know 
what's going on and that it's normal and it's to be expected. So the fitter you are, if you're going to have an amputation, I'm afraid you're going to have a massive fall. But just know it's normal. Um, I'll stop gabbing on now. Um, we're just driving home now. I'm a little hungry and I think mum is too. We're going to get something to eat. And we're going to drive through Nottingham because I've not seen Nottingham and it all looks quite nice. So um, I will keep you updated for what happens next. Please like, share, it may help someone, and subscribe. And until next time, take it easy.